I'm building a juggling robot and my current design uses strings, lots of strings. I've got strings to throw the ball, I've got strings to tension the platform, and I've got strings to actuate the legs to make them go longer and shorter. And for all of these strings to do their function properly, they need to be the exact correct length. Previously, I was achieving this by just tying knots and being careful to make sure that the knots were in the correct spot. But if you've ever tried to tie a knot at a very specific spot, you'll know that it's pretty tricky to do that, especially as the knot tends to fold over itself as you tension it. And now that my new design uses way more strings than the early designs did, I know that I need some better way to do this that doesn't involve the use of carefully tying knots at the exact right position. So I wrote out all of the design requirements that this part needs to have. The connection between the string and whatever its part is needs to be solid, as in strong and is not going to slip out. It needs to be easy to adjust so that I can make very, very minor adjustments without too much hassle, because these strings need to be like to the millimeter correct in some cases. The design needs to be simple, as in it won't use lots of parts and doesn't involve the use of lots of features that might be tricky to 3D print. And I want this design to be universal insofar as it can be used in lots of different contexts, because there are lots of places where these strings attach and they're often at really weird angles, and I want to be able to use the same mechanism for all of these contexts. It would also be nice if the design used no extra parts, so that I just had to change 3D printing features and, that, and then like somehow tie the string up. That would be really good if I didn't need to use any extra hardware at all. So I started having a look around to see what people have done in the past to tension strings. And I found this file that someone had on printables. And I really like this thing. This is a very, very clever way to lock off the end of a string. And I was thinking if I could do this on the ends of all the strings, then I can just easily change the length of the string and then pull it tight and it will be tight. However, I'm a bit concerned about doing this exact design because the Kevlar strings that I'm using are quite slippery and I don't think that this design would work as it is. I think I would need to do a couple more rounds and then it might get tricky to tension it. And I, yeah, I don't know if this exactly would work with the strings. But I, for cords and for like thicker ropes, I think this is fantastic. It's very clever. For similar reason, you might've seen these uh, tensioning mechanisms used on tents for the guy wires. I think those are very good and they would be very nice because I could put them in the middle of the strings and it would be really easy to change the tension as I go. But similar concerns there because I think that they will slip and I'm not sure if it would work. I could also just use super glue. It wouldn't really make it adjustable, but it would be easy. And as long as I got it right the first time, it would be done. And it would need no extra parts and could be nice in that regard. What I've instead come up with is this mechanism here, where with just one single bolt put in next to where the string pokes through, I can wrap the string around at once and then tighten the bolt off and it attaches extremely strongly. So I've got it in through here, you can see that. And I can pull this as hard as I want and it's not coming out. It's super solid, it's really, really quick and easy to adjust. I just need to loosen the bolt up a bit and then pull the extra tail part to pull a bit more through. It's great. It's very simple, very easy to adjust, and I really like it. Despite this design looking really nice, we need to go back and double check that it actually meets the design requirements. So we've already seen it is very solid. It's not budging despite how hard I pull. And even if it does, I can just do one more wrap around the bolt and it's gonna secure it even more tightly. It needs to be easy to adjust. It is very easy. Just loosen the bolt, pull it through, done. I would consider this to be fairly simple part-wise because it only needs one bolt. If I make that hole that the bolt goes through just a little bit smaller than the bolt diameter, then because the part is just made of plastic, when I screw the bolt in, it just makes its own threads in the plastic. This is a really nice feature of 3D printing because you can attach parts together without needing nuts. And it's, it does have its limitations, but it works really well for situations like these. And I think that this design meets the requirement of being universal because it can be very easily used in lots of different contexts. So if we look at the platform, there are lots of strings here that need to be tensioned. And that's what these little holes here are for. So these strings will feed through and then the bolt just goes through this little hole here. The string will wrap around the bolt and then get tensioned up. Similarly on the leg, there is this attachment point that I've already shown you. That's the one that I was playing with just a second ago. And then there's another attachment down the bottom here where the string goes through, bolt goes through and cinches it up. 
It's worth mentioning as well that there are some points in this design where I haven't used this attachment method and I'm just going to stick with knots. And those are for the strings for this cup part that are actually throwing the ball. They will go through here, tie off on there, and then come up over these pulleys, come back down, and then they go into this little hub tensioning thing. The reason why I haven't bothered to use this new locking mechanism with this part is because this component down here has these screwy bits in them. And when the string goes through and ties onto this, I use this to adjust the length of the string anyway. So these knots don't need to be to the millimeter precise. They just need to be within 10 millimeters and then I can adjust it afterwards. So it's not as critical that these strings are perfectly exactly right at the beginning. I'm also going to be sticking with knots for the strings that go through the motor pulleys because I can't really see a good way to attach the bolt onto this part. It's pretty small as it is, and this face is very close to the 3D printed wall, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to squeeze a bolt through there. I think this will be fine with just knots because I can just tie that knot, and then the other ends of those strings are the ones for the legs. So those ones have this nice new mechanism, and as long as only one end of the string needs to rely on knots, it's fine because the other end can just be tensioned correctly. So I think this is universal enough for my purposes. It doesn't use no extra parts. It does need one bolt per string termination, but I think that's okay because given how easy it is to adjust and how strong the connection is, I think this is fine. So I'm okay letting that uh, requirement slide. I do have two concerns with this design and one is that the strings might stretch. And so I might need to add in some sort of spring tensioning mechanism to make sure that the tension is always acting on the strings. We'll see. And the second is that it will reduce the strength of the strings. Anytime you put a knot in a string, it reduces the strength of that string by a pretty considerable amount. And so by having the string kinked over this plastic part and then wrapped around the bolt, I'm sure that that junction is less strong than the string overall. I don't think that's gonna to be too big of an issue because this string has a breaking strength of like 50 kilos or something like that. And I don't think I should be putting that much load on it, but that is definitely something to be aware of. For both of these concerns, I'm not overly worried because I can always just buy different strings. I've been looking into Dyneema strings, which have a breaking strength of something like 300 kilos for a similarly sized string, and they don't stretch at all. As far as I'm aware, they stretch less than steel. So I really don't need to worry about stretch if I get those strings. So if either of these concerns actually become realized, then I can just replace the strings with better ones, basically. Buy my way out of the problem. And with that, we can say bye-bye to knots. I am super happy with this design because I really did not like having to tie knots in the right spots. And this, this makes me very happy to know that I will never need to do that again. It's really good. I really like it. As always, I hope you found this interesting, and if you have any thoughts at all, then please let me know in the comments below. And until the next one, have a good one.